In addition to addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, we're going to have to start doing exponentiation with variables in algebra. Now, let's go back to multiplication. Multiplication is really multiple addition. Yes, it is. 5 times 3 is really 3 fives added. That's where the 3 comes from, but it is multiple addition. Now, that's very different from exponentiation. Exponentiation, we put the 3 up here, and the 3 still has a say. It's just not multiple addition. It's multiple multiplication. And 5 times 5 times 5 is certainly not 15. It's a much higher number, 125. Now let's start doing it with numbers first, because letters represent numbers. Let's look at 2 to the fourth power. Don't even think of 8. That's going to be 2 multiplied by itself four times. Now you'd have to do a little bit at a time. 2 times 2, we get an answer of 4. Now take that answer, multiply it times 2 and get 8. Now take that answer, multiply it times 2, and guess what? The answer is 16. Let's do another. Let's try ooh, 2x, let's throw in a letter, to the fifth power. Now this one's a little bit weird. Because that 5 only has power over the x, doesn't it? The reason for that is the order of operations says that exponentiation between the x and the 5 has to occur before the multiplication that's between the 2 and the x. So you have to write five x's, and then, actually, you only have one, two. That five only has power over the x's, unless we have a situation where we have parentheses. Now, those parentheses add power to the five. That means we're going to have this two x five times. The whole thing is five times, okay? Let's try another. How about multiplying three to the two power times three to the four power? I want to show you something that's going to happen here. Three to the tooth, if you would, just means three times three. There's two of them. And three to the fourth means four of them, doesn't it? Hmm. Isn't there six of them? Well, we could go three times three times three times three times three times three six times you are correct, sir. and get 729. Well, what I'd like you to note, where is there a shortcut where that six came from? Between two and four. Think about it. Well, there is a rule for this, a shortcut rule, if you would and it's called the first rule of exponents. There are two rules, so this is the first rule. x to the a times x to the b. If I have two expressions with the same base and I multiply them with exponents, what I'm going to end up doing is adding the exponents. For instance, we just did it. 3 to the tooth times 3 to the fourth is the same as 3 to the 2 plus 4, or 3 to the 6th. This is going to save you an awful lot of writing. t to the 15th times t to the 12th. Holy alphabet. That's a lot of letters. What's the answer going to be? Genius. That's what it is. Sheer genius. t to the 27th, because 15 plus 12 is 27. Get the idea? Now I need you to see here that what we have is not two expressions multiplied. So this is not going to use the first rule of exponents. What we have here is an expression x squared raised to another power. It's going to be done completely different. 
but we will have a shortcut. Note that we've raised x squared to the fourth power, so we have four of them. One, two, three, four. Now if we want to, we can spread those out. Rem recall that x squared means x times x. And of course, the other blue x squared, the green x squared, and the purple x squared. Now, we could, if we wanted to write them out like this, we could just do that and count them, and you would get x to the eighth. But let's try to come up with another shortcut rule for exponenting exponents. And that's going to be the second rule of exponents. x to the a to the b is going to be x to the a times b. For instance, as we said, x to the tooth to the fourth, rather than write it all out, which you can do if you get confused, is going to be x to the eighth. That's really going to save us a lot of writing in a situation like this. Think of all the Z's you'd have to write. You might fall asleep. This answer is going to be... That's a nice shortcut. But you'll have to remember the difference between this first rule of exponents that uses two terms multiplied and the second rule of exponents, which is really one term raised to a power. One other thing you're going to need to know about this second rule of exponents. Let's take a look at this problem. 4x quantity to the third power. Of course means three of these 4x's. So what's the answer going to be? Well, we'll use our rule, the second rule. We know that the x is going to be x to the 1 times 3, if you would. There's a 1. Okay. What are we going to write for the number? That 4, is that 4 an exponent? You can't handle the truth. It isn't. Those 4's are, I don't want to say numbers, but they are. They're certainly not exponents, so they don't follow the rules of exponents. We're not going to go 4 times 3. Not. They're not exponents, they're what we call coefficients. They follow the regular rule of numbers. So we'll just have to go 4 times 4 times 4 and get 64. Okay, so just remember that your coefficients don't follow these rules of exponents because they're not exponents. Let's just remember these two rules. The first rule of exponents is when we're multiplying two expressions with the same base we can add the exponents. The second rule is when we're exponenting one expression, the shortcut is to multiply the exponents. Okay? Does everybody know what time it is? It's homework time. Let's get busy.